What is up guys, back in the garage working on the 240. In today's episode, as you can see, we've got the car up off the ground. I'm trying to fix one of the bigger issues with the car, which is a massive exhaust leak right under the floor pan, underneath the driver's seat. Uh, sounds bad, smells bad, and so we're trying to fix that exhaust leak. I kind of have a feeling there's another one as well, but at least we hopefully can uh, start knocking out a couple of the exhaust leaks. So, under the 240 here, I cannot believe it, but uh, the bolts just came out like super easy. Like, they, they were tight, they were tight. Like, that's not the issue. The issue is there's not even a gasket in here. But we've got this test pipe here. Don't worry about it, I live in Canada. Um, and so, for some reason, I don't know why this collector is like, I don't know, two, two and a half inches, and the rest of the exhaust is three, four inches maybe? but I've never been able to take out bolts this easy. And the reason why I already have it done is uh, I was gonna make sure that I was able to get the bolts loose before I even started this video. And I was able to get them out. This has never happened in my entire life. I cannot believe these exhaust bolts were this easy. They were able to crack loose fairly easy and on thread super easy. Probably newer bolts, they look newer, but Either way, we've got this flange here, the two and a half in it, whatever comes into the th three or whatever. Unfortunately, there's no gasket here and it doesn't mate up perfectly. So I'm gonna run to the store, run to AutoZone and hopefully I'm able to find, there's a, I know there's a Permatex copper exhaust gasket maker. That kind of sounds like probably the best option. So we're gonna run to the store and see if we can get that right now. Okay, so we're gonna try out the ultra copper gasket maker, exhaust gasket maker from Permatex. Permatex usually a pretty good product. And so we probably wanna clean off one of these surfaces, but um, exhaust is gonna hang down. I'll probably put it on the far side of that flange there. Um, drop this other side of the exhaust off. And I uh, think what you do is you basically just make a gasket and then uh, hand tighten it, wait an hour, I think, and then torque it down. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do. So let's get to it. Exhaust put back together. Um, the stuff seems to be working. It's supposed to kind of start to squeeze out a little bit, and I got that really tight. I don't know if that's better or worse or whatever. Um, but hopefully, this seals. You can see kind of around there, you've got that uh, starting to come out there. Unfortunately, the exhaust leak was out of the bottom of it and it seems like the stuff came out at the top a lot better like you can kind of see there but you know fingers crossed hoping this works if not we'll go to a different something different but i'll get back to you when i'm able to fire it up i think it's supposed to cure for 24 hours so uh yeah i'll get back to you and then uh, hopefully we've uh, fixed one of the exhaust leaks Exhaust leak, and I think we 
might have another one. Stay tuned for the next video for that one. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and peace. Um, we've got a crack in the header.